this on my screen. Hold up. Let me just uh, minimize this for you. Feminist fantasy versus reality. I want everyone to notice this because it's going to be of particular importance to what we talk about right now. And this is Whitney's trainer breaks up with her as a client and her, uh, it's her big, fat, fabulous life. There is no big, fat, fabulous life, okay? You're a big, fat slob who can't be bothered to lose weight. Okay? That's where you are. The fact that this is in the fifth season is, again, we're glorifying obesity. That's what we're doing with Bitches like her and Tess Holiday and everything else. That is what we're doing. We're just glorifying fucking obesity. All right, let's see what she has to say. Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? And I'm just frustrated. It's just a lot to take on. What is this? 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 Oh, shit. Is. I'll tell you what this is. This is what I'm talking about. What happened to the healthy bars that I told you you could keep in your car in case you were away from your food? I've actually eaten them all. This stuff takes you further away from your goal. This stuff keeps you from dancing the way you need to dance. For me, like you look at this and you think how bad it is, and I look at this and I think how good I did. You shouldn't even buy this. Why? I get it. I shouldn't. <laughs> I love this guy. Have made the and yeah, that's most obese people's justification. Like, oh, you, 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 you look at the you know, the meat lovers pizza that I bought, but I only had one slice or whatever the fuck. Decision, like everything, you know, spills onto everything else, and then I'm in the middle of the day and I'm starving. Okay, I would have been a lot harder on her than him. Starving, so I go and I make a. I would have screamed at her. Choice and it's not a great choice, but I try to make it better. Make the choices during the planning stage. You plan it out. You don't wait until you're. On oh God, a nose ring. Fuck. The I know, option I know. is a fast food restaurant. It's too late then, Whitney. You're not that strong. Don't leave it to willpower. He's not even like mad. He's just like he's resigned himself. He's. Oh my God, no! He's just given up on you. And I wanted a certain point, too. So disappointed. Because you can't fucking get someone to lose weight if they're driving to McDonald's the second they get off their workout. And that kind of feeling reminds me of, like, my dad being disappointed in me or something, which is the worst feeling Oh my god, of course. Daddy issues. Daddy issues. Why didn't you love me, Daddy? Ever. Bullshit. I know a lot of people with daddy issues, and they didn't become big, fat fucking watermelons like you. Okay? Okay, you know. Now, I didn't have daddy issues growing up, to be brutally honest. I didn't have them. My dad was supportive and nurturing and took me to the ball game and blah, 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 blah. I've had to fire clients before. And I, I'm sorry, but we're at that point. And I'm just going to have to let you go as a client. But uh, that's just where we are right now. I love this guy. <laughs> if I ever hired, I hired him as a personal trainer, I, I love this guy. I'm shocked. Oh my God, you got told no once in your fucking life. And it sucks because to feel like someone who you really want to care about you can just give up on you. Like he doesn't- Well, again, once again, look at the well of the passenger seat. He can't help you if once you get done with your workouts, you're you're going to McDonald's and buying nine thousand calories. He doesn't believe in me anymore. I don't believe in you. 
Also, I hate don't bl- I hate this whole show. This big fat fabulous life bullshit. Stop glorifying fucking obesity. Stop. These people are not to be glorified. They're not to be admired. They're to be shamed and mocked. So, you know, they can lose weight and get down to a sensible weight. You know, that's, you know, healthy. And this idea that we have that, you know, you can be healthy at any size is ludicrous. Absolutely fucking ludicrous. Oh, thank God that's over. How long has this been going for? Five minutes? All right, I, I can poke one in. This is Whitney goes head to head with sense of a, personal accountability? You- with a body shaming I've already seen her. How many times does this person go after her? You know that your struggle is more difficult. Shouldn't that make you work that much harder? But isn't it more inspirational to watch somebody be up against the odds and their odds are, are stacked against them? Yeah, the odds are stacked against you. I'm sorry, but that's life. We'll see. But well, we have- well, yeah, she's actually right because Whitney does need to eat. She just needs to make better choices about what she eats. I've lost 20 pounds simply by changing how I eat. Your head down work. This is mind blowing to me. Right now, the heart. Oh my God, because you're being told the truth for once in your fat ass life? The hardest thing for me to do is not to lose weight. The hardest thing for me to do is be comfortable in my skin in the face of people like you every day. Typically, oh, we would never. God, I would have been horrible to her. I would have held nothing back. I would have been brutal. She would have left that fucking place in tears if she's that soft. Never let an intern go off on a guest like that. But on the flip side, here's Karen, who is a relatively unknown comedian, coming in, guns blazing, almost an attack. That's the hardest thing I've ever done. I can't, I, I don't think you're being 100% honest. Like, aren't you surrounded with people who are like-minded and agree with you and support you? I mean, yeah, but when you look at the big population, it's just, it's the way I that mean, it is. I mean, my thing is, if I were to surround myself with people who are like, oh, well, Karen has a problem, but let's just let her do what she wants to do, and we'll all get on board and watch her drink and fall on her face, and then I'll just, why wouldn't I continue on that path, you if know? You what would ever make me want to change? Isn't yeah. it important to, like, maybe surround yourself with people who don't always agree with you all yeah. the time? I just don't take very kindly to assumptions being made about my weight and my health, and also... Uh, well, medical journals tend to back the skinny bitch up. Why do you care? I have, I have a friend and I have a family, a few family members that have struggled with their weight their whole lives. And do you feel sad for your friends who are a little overweight? Like, do you feel sad for, for Whitney? I feel affected by them. I feel affected by their moods. I feel affected by it? the what? way they treat what me. A hundred percent. So My, fat people don't treat you well? Is yeah, that... they're moody and they're cranky. <laughs> they're mean. Yeah. Is this real life right now? Yeah. Attitudes like this is exactly what kept me in a darkened apartment ordering pizza because I didn't want Good. You should have stayed there. I don't want to go out into the... Oh, my God. Once again, excuses, excuses, excuses. You shoveled the pepperoni pizza into your fucking face, bitch. Uh, you know what? I, I've probably done enough for this video. How long is it? Okay, uh... Yeah, it's it's long enough. All right, you you've done enough. You fucking cranky cunt.